Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. In this quick video, we're going to be discussing something pretty polarizing about Blender and how in 2.8, the problem kind of goes away. That is the 3D cursor. Ready? Let's go. Now, for lots of people who just start picking up Blender, especially coming from other packages, in the past, in version 2.79, you, uh, when you left clicked, instead of being able to select stuff, you started moving this little cursor all over the place. All right, and that's kind of caused a big kind of problem for lots and lots of people, myself included when I started. 2.8 attempts to solve that problem for you in that you can still use this little cursor here to, uh, to do everything you have done previously in Blender, but now you can go to this little overlays tab up here and you can turn it off. So if you hate that thing and you can't stand seeing it, and you have memories that make you cringe, you can turn that off. However, keep in mind, when you create a mesh, normally it's created at 000. And in this program, it is created at 000 because that is where the 3D cursor is. All right, and lots of other programs by default, you can, you can just add something in and it comes in at 000 right here. However, Blender's a bit different. Watch this. I just made a mistake with my keyboard and mouse, and now I do this, and it comes in over here. And that is starting to drive some people crazy. They're like, well, we could turn this thing off, so how come it's just not turning off? Because it's just the display of this thing is turned off. This thing is still on, and I just hit shift, right click, and I put it over here, and then you see that this thing spawned over here when I went and added it, right? So a quick way to get around this is to do this. You hit Shift S and you just say cursor to world origin. Or when you're in this little pie menu, you just hit one on the keyboard and it snaps it back. And then you can turn it off. So if you're having that problem in Blender 2.8 where your object is being added in these weird places and you have this little thing turned off, okay, you can do one of two things. You can turn it back on to see where it is or you can just hit shift S and say cursor to world origin and just start adding more stuff. And if it snaps back there, then you probably know it's there and you can always go and check by making sure it's on. Okay. And you can always add that to quick favorites too. So you can hit Q and you could say show 3D cursor, Q, show 3D cursor. All right, I'll do that once again, overlays, you go on 3D cursor here, you can right click and say add to quick favorites, and then you can hit Q on the keyboard, it adds to the menu, and you can just have it there, always there, so you can always check to see where it is and where it's not. Okay, that's about it for this video, but that shows you how to work with this 3D cursor, how to turn it off, how to uh, do stuff without it, how to recenter it, and uh, hopefully this thing doesn't cause you as much pain as it used to, and you can learn to either love it or ignore it. So with that, we're going to end this video. Uh, if you liked it, got something out of it, hit like, subscribe, hit that little bell notification so you know when I'm making more of these. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.